getting data from ERP into DDM in a read-only format and pushing data out of DDM into a format that ERP systems can read. So it's a quick overview of this. So basically what you can see here on the screen, I've got a couple of pinned uh, projects inside DDM. So I'm going to drill into this uh, DDM to CSI database, data set project. If I drill in here, you see I've got some data. Uh, I would call it non-drawn part data because there's no CAD related information behind these parts. They're just records in the DDM system. And what I've got here is a, an example, a sample file here. So this is a picture of me. And you can see it's called Simon DDM Demo. That's my part number. And basically, we have the tabs that you normally see in the property screen inside DDM. OK, so uh, we have a, an additional one here called CSI CRM System Live. OK, when I click that. And if I'm on a VPN connection to the actual uh, ERP system, you can see I've got some attributes populated here. OK, now these attributes have been mapped from our CRM system. So on the right hand side of the screen is my CRM system on the VPN. And on the left hand side of the screen is the DDM property screen. OK, so if I search simply for that particular part in my CRM system, here you'll see is some information related to that part. You've got obviously the description. And you've got also some details, etc., which you can see are populated inside DDM also. So basically, I'm going to make some changes in the CRM system. OK, so maybe I'm going to say the supply is not concurrent systems. It's Costco and the cost is actually 100 uh, sterling pounds. That's confirmed in this CRM system now. So you can see now the supply is Costco. Cost per year is 100. If I go and re-query that particular part, CRI system live, and pull up the CRI system next door to the DDM properties window, you can see that the supply name Costco and the cost per year have changed or have been mapped by DDM to the CRM system. You cannot change them here. It's read-only information inside DDM. Okay, But if I was to go back to CRM, and again, make some more changes. And let's say we put the supplier back to concurrent systems as it was previously, and the cost was 200. Okay, I've confirmed that by hit return. Suppliers now concurrent systems, cost per year is 200. If I now requery that part inside DDM, you will see that that will now match on the CRM, CRM system live tab, it will now match what we have in the CRM system. OK, so we've got current systems and also the cost per year. So how do we get that tab? Well, that tab is configured in the admin tool. OK, and at this point, I'd like to point out that this is, although we have these tools inside DDM, uh, so for instance, against part, the attributes area and within inside DDM, we have parts and assemblies. If you go to custom tabs, you can see here, if I edit a, a custom UI tab, CRI and System Live, a SQL query has been created against that label. Now, this is, you need SQL skills here to do this. So don't go and do it without speaking to your CSI. Um, yes, we'll be able to help you. It will be a paid consultancy exercise, but each customer will have different requirements. So we will obviously look at what the customer requires and uh, put that in place. So yes, it's configurable inside DDM, but please speak to CSI before you do any work in this area of the product. Otherwise, you could um, get in a bit of a muddle. OK, so coming out of the admin tool for now. So you can see this is how we get data from ERP into DDM. What about going the other way? OK, so let me just minimize that. I'll go back to my other project I have here. So DDM comes bundled with a tool which is configurable out of the box to output 
bomb data, bill of material data, automatically to the file system, to a location of your choice. Okay, so on my machine, I have a location here, C colon design data manager, DDM web, EU amount. It's a location on your network, all right? You can configure that path. And basically what I'm gonna do, is I want to take an assembly here and I want to push out the bill of material information to this location. Now, before you can do that, you need to go into the admin tool and to configure the enterprise update manager. And that can be found in the admin tool under uh, system, EUM ERP export. And basically what you do here is, is configure a business rule. So you can see we have assemblies, parts, drawings, and documents here. So I have a business rule that when I release an assembly, output the bill of materials, maybe some drawings, attachments, etc. I have nothing set for parts in my, my example, but I have also for drawings, when I release a drawing, export the drawing, export the attachments, PDFs, etc. So again, it's about you configuring with tick boxes what you want to export, but you need to switch it on, obviously, within the admin tool. So let's see this in working live. So currently that directory has no files in it. So what I'm going to do now is take that assembly. I'm going to release it, or it could actually go into a predefined uh, workflow for approval. But I'm just going to show it that you can actually um, release it. And I will say, OK, for production, for instance. And uh, <clears throat> I need to set the state of the item, obviously, to be released. Click OK. Click OK. And now, if I refresh the screen, you will see here that the actual assembly itself has been released. Now, the Enterprise Update Manager last updated date is showing yesterday, and that should update. If I refresh my screen, Uh, it's in the queue. Okay, so you will find if I go to the Enterprise Update Manager, it's actually queued. Okay, so we have to, it's not going to happen instantaneously, but we should find that that data should arrive uh, pretty soon. If I go to the uh, Audit, yeah, Enterprise Update Manager, is we've actually traced that change here. And let's refresh once more. And you can see now the attributes updated 9th of Feb, which is today's date. And if I go to the actual um, subdirectory, you can find now that the actual part number 229019, the XML file has arrived in the Enterprise Update Manager path. If I double click on that file, this is an exit. XML file containing all the re relevant BOM information, okay, which you can map to at an ERP level. Or if you want to convert that file, we have a batch file which will actually convert the XML to a CSV. Let's just run that. So you can see now we have a CSV. Okay, and now this is a CSV that reflects all the attributes that are mapped against that particular assembly okay so obviously you can map your columns in erp and pull that information into your erp system so a very very quick snippet overview of how we get data in a read-only format from erp into ddm and how we can automatically push bomb information out of ddm on release of an assembly if you need more information please come back to csi we'll be happy to uh, see how we can help you automate this process.